Hello everyone, once again, welcome back to MVG Productions and another episode of The Price is Right, right here on my channel. Glad to have you with us once again. I got some more pricing games on the way, ready to play along, and I actually have a little company on this one this time. Uh, joining me for this game of The Price is Right, it's my girlfriend Zone. Hey, babe. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, um, I told her I was going to get ready to record this, and she was, I was like, I got her to pick all the pricing games, so I have no idea what order they're going to come up in, I have no idea what games they are, I just know it's going to be an interesting one, but we're going to see if we, how well we do, hopefully the games are not terribly evil, but eh, time will tell, and then she said she wanted to play along with me too, so here's how we do it, um, I've got 18 people in the audience. I got nine boys and nine girls. I'll play the guys' games that come up to play. You play the girls' games. Deal? All right, cool. That's it. Let's play some. Let's play some Prices Right. Episode. And again, thank you for the continued support on the series. And again, another million dollars spectacular coming up on episode twenty when we get to it. Right now. Television's most exciting hour of fantastic prizes. It's the fabulous 60 minute price is right. And I said I got our names in there too, so we'll see who comes up with the randomizer. Here we go. First name out of the audience is gonna be. I'm gonna laugh at the two. It's Rusty! How's it coming on down? Let's see, who's next? Mark. Okay, shout out to Mark there, playing along. There's Marty. Three guys, how about a girl this time? And Carla. Alright, so there's there's the four contestants, so I get to fit three times, you get one. We'll see how this well works out. And let's get ready to play The Price is Right. Alright, first four contestants in line. Let's see take a look and see what our item up for bids is gonna be. A right, Dynamo Hot Flash 2 Air Hockey Table. Ah, air hockey table, all right? So I get the first three bids. Uh, we're gonna go 1200, 850, and $1,000. What do you bid? Seven. 750. 750? Alright. Now let's see. Actual retail price of the air hockey table is $3,194. Holy crap, that's expensive. Way more expensive than I would pay for an air hockey table. I know that much. Alright. Well, Rusty's lucky one on stage for this first game. Well, let's see what he'll be playing for because he gets to play. For this! I'm mad that is not a picture of a BMW, that is a GMC of sort, but we're playing for the BMX1 S Drive 28i. And we get to play that playing game of Shot in the Dark. Alright, so let's see the first number of the price of the car. Alright, it's a 2. So in this game, there are no repeating numbers in the price. I literally just have to take a shot in the dark and guess the numbers that I think are going to be in the price of the car. If I can do that successfully the first time through, I win the car. If not, we'll have a second chance built in the game to see if I can win it. Alright, it's a BMW. It's a $20,000 car. I'm going to say the second digit is 7. Is there a 7 in the price? No. Um... How about a four? Fours. Wow. They're an eight. 
Okay, we got an eight. Third digit. All right, and might as well go the nine. Is there a nine? Yes. Wow, twenty-nine thousand dollar car. All right. Now we got the first three digits. So now three numbers have appeared in the box below. Two of those digits belong to the price of the car. One is a fake digit. I have to put the correct numbers in order now in order to win the car. So it's 29,800 what? Fourth number, six, three, or one. Um, I'm actually thinking it's 31. I think it's the last two digits. So I'm going to go third, three and one. 29,831, is that the right price? Yeah! It's rare I win that game, but it's kind of a nice feeling when you get it. All right, we're off to a decent start tonight. One down, maybe a perfect show? I don't know. I know it's not going to be a perfect show. If, if we could get it, that would be awesome. Again, as on the series, if we ever get a perfect show, the next episode will be automatically be a billion dollars spectacular. Hey, look, it's you, Sonny! <laughs> Hi. You have to make the contestants, bro. And now you get to bid first on this. Ooh, a diamond leaf bracelet from the Michael C. Fina Company. That's a nice price. How much do you think that diamond leaf bracelet's worth? Um, Five three, seconds? Three hundred. Uh, it's Michael C. Fina, the good quality diamond company. I'm going to go a lot higher. I'm going to say 1500 and 2000 And you get one more bid. 1000 Alright. Alright, actual retail price of the diamond leaf bracelet is $1,729. That's Mark. Mark is a winner. He's won that game, and now we have a chance to play for something nice for Mark. What are we going to play for him? He has a chance to win this. A chance to win $10,000 in cash. And he can win that $10,000, of course, by playing half off. $10,000 on the line. All we got to do now is figure out which one of these 16 boxes has the money in it. Do that. Get the 10 grand. We can eliminate half the boxes at a time if we know something about these small products over here to the right. Starting with this. An oak cedar chest with padded seat and a travel cooler or warmer. The chest is priced at $223. The cooler or warmer is priced at $26. Which one do I think is half off the price? I'm actually going to say, as wild as it's saying, I'm going to think the cedar chest is half off. I think it's like 500 or close to it. Is it half off? Yes. All right. Half the box is gone. Eight numbers left. we get rid of half the boxes again if I know something about this. Popcorn snow sports equipment and a 5.5 hour Mexican cooking lesson. Okay. Five and a half hour Mexican cooking lesson and sports equipment. I'm gonna say that the, I'm gonna say the sports equipment is half off. Yes, 5.48. Get half the boxes again. 50, 50, get rid of half the boxes again if I know something about the dig. Famous trails his and her butt, binoc binoc cameras, binoculars and cameras all in one, are a Dihon Delos 20 inch bicycle. I think the his and her binoc cameras are half off. 500 for those, is that right? Yes! Again, rare that I get all three. All right, two boxes left. One of them has the $10,000, the other has nothing. 
What do you think, Sonny? Seven or thirteen? For what? Which box you think has the ten grand in it? Oh, um, thirteen. I'm actually just leaning toward thirteen myself. Let's see if unlucky thirteen. Hopefully, he's lucky for us this time. Put the box on the counter here, and in three, two, one. Show me the money. What? <laughs> Holy crap! We've done it again. We got another winner. We are two for two tonight. Off to a fantastic start, and we got more. Price is right on the way right after this. So stick with it, won't you? Alright, welcome back to the Price is Right. We need another contestant. Who's it gonna be? Erica, come on down. The next contestant of the Price is Right. Alright, so you got three bids this time. I've got one. Alright. And you get to bid first on this. An outdoor batting cage. Enjoy and practice your baseball skills with this beautiful outdoor batting cage. Comes with equipment, netting, and pitching machine. Alright, what do you think your bid is? Batting cage? Mm hmm. $500. 500 okay. I'm going to say $850. You get two more bids. Okay. Um, Seven hundred. Seven hundred. All right, the bids are in. Actual retail price of the batting cage: seven hundred and twenty-four dollars. You win. All right. Well, Sonny, you've actually won a, yourself a prize. I hope you like baseball that a lot more. So now, you've won that batting cage, and now you get to play for this. Hey, it's the car you've always wanted, a Volkswagen Beetle! And you can win that Beetle playing Bullseye! That Beetle's worth $22,930. Here's your grocery items you'll be using for this game. A bottle of Armor All Car Wash. A 25 package of hefty paper bowls. A 9 count package of Hershey's chocolate drink. Delicious. A package of Berry Blue Kool Aid. And finally, a 100 square foot box of Saran Classic. All right, now the way Bullseye works is you have to pick one of these grocery items and then tell me how many of that one grocery item is going to take to be between $10 and $12. If you can do that and hit the target, hit the Bullseye, you win the car. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. All right, so which grocery item do you want to start with? The Armor All, the Hefty Paper Balls, the Hershey Chocolate Drink, the Kool-Aid. Yeah, that's a single pack of Kool-Aid, by the oh, way. Oh, that's going to be... And a the saran wrap. Which one do you want to start with? Kool Aid. Yeah. All right. How many packs of Kool Aid does it take for ten to twelve dollars? I don't know. You tell me. Aren't you about to help? I mean, if you want my best opinion, um, they're like maybe twenty-five to fifty cents a piece. Okay. Maybe a little more. But it is—it's the actual Kool-Aid brand, so. Yeah. So my, my if I had to guess, I'd say like maybe twenty, or maybe fifteen, depending on what the price is. Because I don't know. Well, say if they run a quarter, it would be four for a dollar. Right. So. you got to get between 10 and 12 dollars, so you'd need like 40 of them. I was going to say 40 packs. You're going to say 40? Yeah. You going one? All right. 40 packs of Kool-Aid. Each Kool-Aid 
19 cents times 40, 760. What? All right, you hit the board, you hit the target, but it's not the bullseye. It's okay. You get two more chances. Pick a different grocery item now. Okay. Um. <laughs> Let's do the paper bowls. The paper bowls? Hefty paper bowls, a 25 count pack. How many packages of the hefty paper bowls for 10 to 12 dollars? Let's do four. Four? Okay. Four packages of the paper bowls. Each one is 279 times four. 1116, you got it! You got the yeah. car! Congratulations! We are three for three in a perfect half. Showcase showdowns all the way next, so stay tuned. All right, welcome back to The Price is Right. It's time for the Showcase Showdown. All three winners so far in the first half of the show. We've given away, wow, almost, um, I can't do math, but we're talking like $80,000 in cash and prizes so far already. And we haven't even got to the showcases yet. All right, so we're going to spin an order from least to most, uh, least winnings. And that mark's going first, so that means I'm spinning. So here we go. A perfect half so far. Last episode, if you guys didn't even catch it out, you should check it out. I won five out of the six pricing games, and I was literally one game off of having a perfect show. Maybe we could get it there this time. I don't know. We'll see. First price up, and we have we'll spun a quarter on the wheel. We can do better than quarter. I'm going to spin again. Quarter on the first spin. Looking for 75 cents or less on this one. And 70 would be nice. 70 would be good. And it's looking like not 90. Not 90. Okay, another quarter. So 50 cents. All right, Sonny, you got to beat 50 cents. So step up and just tell me when to spin the wheel. Go ahead. All right. You got to beat 50 cents. And in your first spin. You have not done it. You've spun 30. You gotta spin again. You gotta need at least 20 cents more. Okay. Alright. 30 cents in your first spin. Looking for 70 on this one. And here comes 70. Will she get a dollar? Will she get it? Yeah. One dollar on the nose! You got it! Thousand dollars in bonus cash, bonus spin on the way in just a minute. All right, so now the only thing I can do now at this point is try to tie you. So here we go, hoping for a tie. Here comes a dollar. Come on, dollar. Get down here, dollar. Get down here, dollar. Come on. Get there. Get there. Yes! One dollar on the nose and another thousand dollars in cash. Alright. So this is going to be a bonus spin-off now. Here's what happened. Your objective is we're going to spin, we're each going to get one spin at the wheel. It's got to go around at least twice or it doesn't count and we're going to be in trouble. This is also a bonus spin, however. If we land on any of the two green sections on the wheel, you're going to get a bonus ten thousand dollars in cash. Land on the dollar in the bonus spin, another $25,000. <laughs> However, if we don't land on any of the colored sections, higher number between us two gets to go on the showcase. Okay. So you're up first, so you tell me when to spin. Right, go ahead. All right, that's going to that's gonna count. It's going to get around twice. Will it get around a third time for some bonus cash? Uh, it doesn't look like it, but for the spinoff, you might have a very good number. You do, 85 cents. Only three numbers beat that. I either have to get a 90, a 95, or the dollar if I get lucky enough. So here we go. Alright, that, that spin's going to count. That's going to get around twice. I don't think I'm getting any bonus. Now I just missed out on the bonus cash, but i got to be 85, and I don't see it happening. Looks like 20. Yep. 
20 cents is it. No more bonus cash. Sonny, you're going on the showcase. You've won for yourself so far $24,054. And you have a chance to earn some more in the second half. But we got more prices right on the way right now as we get on to our looking for our next contestant. Who's it going to be? Connor, come on down. You're the next contestant of the prices right. All right, we get two bids each right now. And here's the next item up for bids. A Tessero level metal detector. So searching for those ancient coins on the beach. This fabulous metal detector. All right, I'm going to say it's going to be 850. What do you say? 500, okay. I'm going to go 625. And you get the last bid. 300? All right. Bids are in. Actual retail price of the metal detector is 809. I got him. You're over just by a little bit. Actually, I was over by a little bit. All right, I got Marty that metal detector, but maybe you could use it. Hey, it was, we're going on a clearance sale. I haven't played this game in forever. This is a short-lived game here on The Price is Right, but clearance sale, I tell you what, if you want to play, you can help me out with this one. What we're going to do is we got three pr prizes here with three clearance price tags on them. All you got to do is we got to put the correct clearance price on the prize in order for it to be a clearance price. As long as we do that for all three, we win all three prizes here. We have on on the line the the 90s popcorn cart. We have three elk retropolitan lamps and a six-night trip to the Grand Canyon. Okay. Now, of course, $540 is a clearance price or a sales price for any of these. But which one do you think it goes on? We got sales price tags here: of 540, 2570, and 1760. All right, where do you think the 540 price tag is going to go? We got the popcorn cart. We've got the lamps and the Grand King. Trip to the Grand King. Let's do the popcorn cart. Popcorn cart here for five. Sales price of 540 Well, that one's going to be right, obviously, but we have to put these on the correct ones now, too. So, three el three lamps and a trip to the Grand Canyon. Which one's the 1760 belong to? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so call it that, and then I'll put the price tag here. The 2570 there. I like it, but the only thing I don't think is because it's three lamps. If, if I saw a lamp that cost $500 a piece... That's a very expensive lamp. So if I was going to change anything, I'd switch the ones from the popcorn cart and the lamps there. But you're you're playing, so it might. And we're playing for Marty here, so. We can switch it. I I really feel like the popcorn carts could be more about eighteen hundred bucks. I'm thinking. Okay. So let's see if we're right here. All right, we're going to start with the popcorn cart. How much is the price? Eighteen fifty-two. That's the sales price. How much for the lamps? 682. We got it. What's the price of Grand Canyon? There it is. Nicely done. We are four for four. Two games left. Will we even finally get a perfect show? Let's find out. Next contestant out of contestants, contestants row. It's Jessica. Come on down. All right, so that gives you three bids. I get one. And you get the first two bids on this prize. Oh, a 55-inch 3D HETV with Wi-Fi, Skype, two pairs of glasses from Samsung. That's a nice prize. How much for that TV? Uh, $3,000. $3,000? Okay. And your second bid? Um, let's go on $1,500. Okay. I get one bid. I'm just going to say 2000 And you get one more bid. Um, 
Ah, I was wondering how long it was going to take you to do that. <laughs> oh, you... That's a dick move. Actual retail <laughs> price, $3,044. You're actually very oh, close to your first one. You one up me. You prude. How dare you. Anyway. Okay. So you won yourself a TV. Let's see how you do trying to win this. A new van! No, no, it's not like that. It's a cargo van. It's a van. It's you're going to take your TV home if you can do it. It's worth $40,546 for that uh, cargo van. And you get to play cliffhangers! Yay! She go play cliffhangers. This ought to be entertaining. Here it goes. Here's where we lose the perfect show, folks. <laughs> I'm kidding. Hey, you could, right you, you could win. Uh, we'll never know. All right, of course you know the objective is to get Hans, a.k.a. Yodely Guy. Keep him from falling off the mountain. You can do 25 steps safely without him falling off. More than that, it's game over. GG. All right, uh, you tell him by get you want so you want to get his you want to get the exact price on these three smaller items to keep him on the mountain. If you do, you win the van. Starting with a lemon hardwood floor cleaning system. So it's like the lemon mop, the cleaning products, all of that. How much do you think this is? I've seen him sell from anywhere from like ten to fifteen bucks for the system. So let's say let's say twenty. Twenty? Yeah. All right, we'll see. It's twenty dollars. Is that the right price? No. All right, Hans, on your way. I right, off by three bucks. All right, what's the price? Twenty-three dollars. Okay, good start. All right, next we have a water pick appliance. Yeah, it's a water pick to use to get all the gunk stuff out. I know. I don't know how much. I've seen them run anywhere from like 30 to like 50 bucks, but for a water pick. But again, that, ah, uh, you're, you're, you're on your own on this one. It's $40. $40 for the water pick? Let's see. Is it $40? Nope. Hans, on your way. Nine bucks? Okay. What's the right price? $34. All right. Hans is on step nine. You can miss this for last one by as much as it's sixteen. Gonna... So you can miss as much as sixteen. Hold on, hold on. Why did it go nine dollars, nine steps? It adds all all three prizes together. Oh, so it wanted an additional nine steps because I have six. Yes, six plus the three you were off on the first one. That's, That's nine dollars total. Evil. That's how this game works. Okay, what's the next one? Now the final one is a motorcycle telephone. It's a telephone that looks like a classic motorcycle. You can miss this one as, by as much as $16 one way or another. If you do that, you win all three prizes and the van. So how much for the motorcycle telephone? Uh, I, have no I don't think it's name brand because it would have said like a Harley Davidson or something like that. So it's just a telephone that looks like a motorcycle. Uh, let's say 20 bucks. I'm thinking it's more. I... Because it's like one of those collectors, like the old burger phones they used to have back in the 90s. So I'm thinking it's like somewhere around 40, if not more. Yeah, 40 again? Mm -hmm. Let's see if it's there. Hopefully it's less. Hopefully it's like 40 bucks. Let's see. Is it $40? All right, please don't fall off the mountain, Hans. On your way. Hey, we got it! You got another car! Superman. That's what we're talking about. Wow. Missed it by three. Forty-four dollars is the right price. Wow. Well done. We're five for five. Could we have a perfect show? Could we actually do it? I don't know, but I hope we can pull it off. Do you have to be so loud? Yes. Yes, I do, because I'm excited. And we're playing for Hunter. Hunter coming on down. All right. Final contestant, contestant row, and let's see what the prize is going to be. An iPad's acoustic guitar. Drum away on your favorite melodies with this acoustic guitar from iBand. Alright, um, 700 for the guitar. What do you say? Um, I'm going to say... 
500. All right. Um, I'm gonna go a little more expensive. I'll say like a thousand. And you get the last bit. 800. All right. Very close on the prices. Actual retail price of the guitar is fifteen hundred one dollars. All right. So it all comes down to me not screwing this game up for a chance at a perfect show. Let's see what we're playing for. Oh, we're playing the domino game for a shot at $25,000 in cash. So I don't know how the computer registers this one, but I think if as long as we get at least one or maybe two dots and win cash, I think it counts this as a perfect show. So we'll see what happens here. All right, so we have a mystery domino on the board here. My objective is to make the domino on the left here match. Pick the dots that are matched up on the domino on the right, the one that we cannot see. If I can match all five dots that are chosen on the right domino, I get we get twenty five thousand dollars in cash. Otherwise, the cash breakdowns down at the bottom there. All right, I'm going to start with the bottom upper left hand corner dot. This one. All right, I can earn four more dots on my domino by knowing the prices of these smaller prizes over here. Starting with a Hammacher Slimmer, Hammacher and Slimmer alarm clock, priced at forty dollars. Alarm clock higher or lower than forty bucks? I'm gonna say lower. Oh, all right. So no twenty-five thousand dollars. So a perfect, perfect shows out of the way. But maybe we get a chance to earn some, earn some cash here. A lemon nitty gritty sponge mop, price twenty eight bucks. Let's say lower sponge mop. There you go, fourteen dollars. All right, I get a dot. Hey, you play with me. Pick a dot. Yeah, we we'll pick one of these black dots over here to fill in. That dot, in the middle. All right, I'm on the end. Next one, a Wii Fit video game, price of eighty two bucks. That comes with the board and the game. I think it's just a little bit lower. Yeah. Oh, I, I, 90 bucks. And finally, a baby food maker priced at 183 bucks. I'm gonna say lower. Yes, 150. All right. One more dot. Uh, let's go with bottom, bottom half, bottom right corner. All right, we can earn $5,000 if we got it. Let's see the domino. We got one. All right, so we got a thousand bucks. All right. So not a perfect showing, but hey, we at least got some cash. Thousand dollars is ours. And we're playing for that for Connor, so. Connor hopefully enjoys the money. And we'll call that a win, because it's now time for our second showcase showdown. All right, so mostly all went. Everybody walked away with something. So not quite a perfect show by game standards, but hey, everybody walked away with a prize. A nice one at that. So let's see how we can do. Connor, we're going to see if we can get you some bonus money here. I've got the first two spins of the wheel. You get the last one. So Jessica's the top money winner. Of course, you winning her the van. And the first spin's gonna be 85 cents. I'm gonna stay. 85 is a good number there. All right, so I gotta try to beat my own 85, which is ridiculous to how to do. And on this first spin here, we've got ourselves maybe 65. Nope, 30 cents. Got to spin again. All right, looking to beat 30. Let's see if we can get there. Again, two really good episodes of Prices Right back to back so far. That that's this is a positive for me, at least on this. And unfortunately, I'm over by 15 cents. All right, babe, your spin. You got to be 85. All right, go. All right. First spin out on the wheel. That'll be 85. Here comes 95. 95 would do it. Here comes 85 for a tie. Maybe. Nope. Gonna have to spin again. 
got 30 cents. Okay. Hit. 30 cents in your first spin, you need 55 for a tie. 60 to 70 will give you a win. And 50 is gonna be, no, 85 is too much, you're over. Well, all right. Connor's into the showcase, 26.55. It's going to be Connor versus Sonny. Who's going to take home all the prizes in the showcase? Find out right after this. Stay tuned. And welcome back to the prizes. Right, time for our showcase. Sonny, you're actually the top winner in tonight's showcase. So you get the option of bidding on the first showcase if you want it, or passing it to me playing for Connor, and you get to bid on showcase number two, all right? Here's the showcase. Good luck. We're going to start off with a trip to Dublin Island, six nights at Fitzpatrick's Castle, a live giant Avil inspired 20-inch women's bicycle, a brand new Aquafin Tropica sailboat, maid service for an entire twice a month for a year, a Yamaha VX Cruiser Wave Runner, and a Kawasaki jet ski, three passenger. That's gonna be yours. If the price is right. All right. So, a lot of good prizes there. The trip to Dub Dublin, Ireland. The bicycle, a sailboat, twice a month mainly ser made service for a year. A wave runner and a jet ski. You want to bid on that entire showcase, or you want to pass it to me and wait for the second. Passing it? Alright. So that showcase goes to Connor, and that I have to bid for him. Let's see. Uh, Dublin's about $8,000 to get there. The bicycle's probably about five hundred. The sailboat, close to, I'm thinking like maybe ten grand. The maid service for a year, that's probably another two grand, so I'm at 30000 already. And then the Wave Runner and the Jet Ski together, probably another 10 grand. So I'm actually going to say this is a high showcase. I'm going to go $41,350. Call it a day. That's my showcase. And now, Sonny, here comes yours. We're starting off with a brand new telescope, an Ashley China cabinet, a Whirlpool Calypso washer and dryer. A 24-inch steam oven, a trip to Casablanca, and a 7-foot, 1-inch semi-concert grand piano. And that showcase can be yours if the price is right. Alright, a nice little trip there. Some stuff for your, uh, for the kitchen, around the house. An awesome trip to Casablanca. Six-night trip there. And a, a semi-concert grand piano. So... Figure out some numbers in your head, add it all up, give me a total of how much you think that showcase is. You want to get come as close as you can without going over. And like I said, you can talk it out too if you want, if you need to. You want to go 50000 for all of that? Is that too low? Huh? Is that too low? I think you're too high on that one. Mm. Alright, how much do you think the tele... Let's, let's go item by item. How much do you think the telescope's worth? A couple hundred. Okay. How about the Ashley China cabinet? Maybe 500. Okay, you're at 700. 600. Uh, How much for the washer and dryer? From oh, Whirlpool. Probably around 500. Yeah, they're brand new, so yeah, Calypso style. I have no idea. So it was probably running about a thousand to twelve hundred for the set, so that's yeah, about two thousand through the first three items. How much for the oven? One thousand. Okay, so that's three thousand. The trip to Casablanca. It's a round. It's a round trip airfare. From Los Angeles, it's a six-night stay. Seven, 
seven, eight thousand. Okay, so that's eleven thousand right there. And then you add in the piano. What's your guess? My guess uh, for a concert, semi concert grand piano, you're looking probably somewhere around anywhere from 5000 to 10000 depending on the type. Semi concert, I'm thinking probably on the lower end of that, maybe. Well, that that's just my thoughts. So, what do you think? 20000 for everything? Mm -hmm. Do that if you want to. Yeah. Is that your bid? Twenty thousand it is. All right. She came up with a number. She did some math, and now we're gonna see who's gonna win it all here tonight. Starting with Connors, I bid him forty-one thousand three hundred fifty dollars on his showcase, and the actual retail price of his showcase is thirty-four thousand five thirty-six. I'm over. All right. As long as you didn't go over, Sonny, you're a winner. You bid twenty thousand on your showcase. Actual retail price on the showcase is thirty-four thousand four sixty-eight. You're not over. Difference of fourteen thousand four sixty-eight. Your ninth winner. Congratulations. And look at that cash total. Cash of prize is $59,122. Well done. That's, that's a nice chunk of chain, regardless of who you are at this point. You gotta say, you, you, you won. You're going to Casablanca. You got yourself a brand new Volkswagen Beetle. You got some spending money along the way. You gotta be happy about your performance. I know. That, that was really good. Well, good for you. Congratulations to you. And that's going to wrap it up for this episode of The Price is Right. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, if you like the video and you like the series, click that like button down below. Don't forget to share this great episode with friends. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss a video I drop here at MVG Productions. And until the bidding wars continue once again here on The Price is Right, I'm Brady Scruggs, alongside my girlfriend, Sonny, reminding you, help control the pet population, have your pets spayed or neutered, and help control the YouTube population. Like, share, and subscribe to your favorite YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see y'all next time. Goodbye, everybody. Total winning for this episode, $160,965. Hi, we'll see y'all next time.